Okay, what we're going to do is I'll make our little man like this one here. You can see that just about. It's our little athlete. And this is the project for um, the school's multiple years. So, I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we have our aluminium wire. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out about a metre of it. Just go. There we go. There's a metre. Cut that. Yeah, the aluminium wire is very soft, very flexible to use. So it is the best stuff. And this is a 1.25 mil thickness. Again, very simple to use. Uh, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to fold it in half, like so, and just put it taut. I'm going to put two fingers into the uh, into the bend at the halfway point, and just going to twist it around about three times. There we go. That's going to make our head and our neck. Now I've joined that, drawn out a very simple little diagram here, which I've used last time. There, it's got one more actually little twist on the neck. We can photocopy these for the kids so that everybody has got one at their desk. And we can have the uh, pieces of wire cut ready to go. Now this is just a little rough drawing I've done, so it's a bit out of proportion so we'll make sure that's right for the next one then we just fold it in fold it in back and to the neck straight down other arm we'll fold it in yeah up to the neck and then come straight down what i'm going to do is i'm going to gather all of the parts of the arms together I'm going to measure out the body. There's the body, just down the bottom. I'm going to hold it there. I'm going to use the pliers, twist it round two or three times, like so. Then held in place. We have our arms, we have our head, we have our body. And then out to the side, probably about a centimetre or two, back again to make our hips. The other side, fold it out 90 degrees, fold it back in 90 degrees. There's our hip. What we can then do is make sure that the ends of the feet are about even. If they're not, we could just nip a little bit off, no real big drama. Then we take the leg, fold it back upon itself. The other side, fold it back upon itself. Okay, whoops, that's too far, too far. There we go. That's about right there. Marvellous. Okay. And what we can do now, holding our fingers and thumb in the leg, at the end of the leg, start twisting round and round and round. Three times. Just like so. Then we, we can make a little bit of the foot. We've got this part sticking up. We shall come to that in a moment. Again, grab the foot. Start twisting. To get a more solid body and a more maneuverable body. Something we can shape a little bit more. Now we're up by the pelvis. And we can just simply wrap these around, leading towards the body. If you don't want to wrap them around, we can just simply cut them off. Makes no odds, whichever is easier. So, there we have our basic shape. Again, we can take the arms, grab the pliers, twist them round, like so. And on the other side, exactly the same. Twist the wires around. 
We can hold it again at the top, and if need be, just take pliers, take the pelvis area, and twist around. Bit of shot. There's our little character, and then we can form him into whatever pose we would like. Classic is like the sprinter, so just play with the legs, and then we can play with the arms. Get the overall effect of the man running. Once we have done that, next stage, I have a bamboo skewer, dropping it off at about, we've got about six inches. We also have here, this is a just a ball of uh, blue tack, but what we can use is a bit of clay, to be a bit more readily available. Put it down. I'm going to take sellotape first. Just going to use a little bit of sellotape. Position the body so it's high enough up the pole so we can actually still put it into the blue tack. And then just a little bit of sellotape. Wrap it around. Simple as that. There it goes. And hopefully you can see it okay there. So I'll do some editing if need be. There is our little runner. And then we'll move on to the mod rock stage of the sculpture and go from there. Okay, we're back to it. We are going to now cover up um, the wire model with the mod rock. So the mod rock is here. I've got a little Tupperware container. It's just a uh, wire washing tablet box cut in half. Um, here's our mod rock, and we're just going to cut off some pieces. I've got my left feet. Ah, there we go. Got my scissors. Okay. So, let's see how we do. We're going to fold it in half. We're going to nice thick piece to start off with the torso. Okay, just into the water. And rather than having it stripping wet, just take a bit of the excess liquid off there. Take our form. And then start wrapping it around. Go for the main torso first. When we fold it in half, we can make a really quite thick, large piece of uh, the mud rock as a good starting basis upon which to work. There we go. Put them back in there. We need a bigger piece, clearly, but we shall persevere, or I'll just let it fall to the ground. There we go. Maybe easy enough to do it that way around to start off with. I'll we'll cut some smaller pieces for the arms and the legs. Okay, there. Okay, take off the excess water. Even. Bring out the arm, straighten it off, and then so long as we get it into position before the mod rock starts to set, we should be alright. Try this one though. Again, fold this one in half. Let's see how it works that way around around the arm. Try and make it as easy an operation as possible. Arm out. Let's see as easy. Round it goes. So 
some reason I've left the hands free. I don't know why, but again, it's going to be every, everybody's going to have their own particular take. as best we can. Not the most exciting of videos. I might speed up a little bit here and there. So, wrap it around. And then to bring the mod rock round, bit by bit by bit. Last one for the other leg, and then we'll have a little play around with the head, maybe. Or we can leave it blank. Again, options, what it's all about. Let the children just come up with their own ideas, their own designs. That's what it's all about. Just starting off the creative process and then let them all have a way with it. I'm going to put some more on the other side there. We can just leave rolls on tables with a few pairs of scissors so the kids can cut the pieces to their heart's content. Find that the easiest way. It's quite awkward stuff and quite messy stuff, but again, that's all part and parcel of the fun to be had. There we go. You see how there? Just a few minutes, really. I'll have to set it up so it'll be better seen. That is, in essence, what we're going to do. Last piece for the head. Let's see what happens. To be honest, I think the head is quite good left a blank. Uh, if, you're, if I'm to be honest, but for the exercise, let's get it covered up and see how it looks. Not wrong with that either. A little bit surreal. So we've got the cupboard with the mod rock that can then be left overnight and can be painted in another class, in another workshop, as another part of the project. Marvellous. Okay, any questions? Let me know.